Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled at the foot of a lush, green hill, there lived a young boy named Leo. Leo was known throughout the village for his kindness and empathy. He had a heart that overflowed with love, not just for people, but for all living creatures. One sunny morning, as Leo was strolling through the village square, he noticed a struggling ant laboring to carry a large grain of rice. The tiny ant's efforts were visible to Leo, and it touched his heart. He bent down and gently scooped up the grain of rice, placing it closer to the ant's nest. The ant looked up at Leo with its tiny, grateful eyes and scurried away. Word of Leo's kind deed quickly spread throughout the village, and soon, children and adults alike began to join him in acts of kindness towards the smallest of creatures. The village blossomed into a harmonious place where compassion and empathy were the norm. One day, as Leo was helping an injured bird, he overheard two travelers talking. They spoke of a mystical lake located on the far side of the forest. The lake was said to have magical waters that could heal any wound or ailment. Leo's heart swelled with hope, and he decided to embark on a journey to find this lake. The journey was long and filled with challenges, but Leo's unwavering determination and kindness guided him through the darkest of forests and the deepest of rivers. He finally arrived at the mystical lake, shimmering with its enchanting aura. He filled a small container with its water, hoping to bring it back to his village. As Leo returned home, he encountered people in need along the way. He shared the miraculous water, healing their injuries and soothing their suffering. The news of his journey and the magic of the lake's water traveled even faster than his acts of kindness had before. Upon his return, Leo shared the water from the magical lake with the entire village. The villagers were not only physically healed, but they were also deeply touched by Leo's compassion and selflessness. They realized that true wealth lay not in material possessions, but in the richness of the heart. The village flourished, not just in health, but in love, understanding, and unity. Leo's story became a legend, and generations to come would remember him as the boy who found the lake of healing and taught them the true meaning of kindness. So, remember, my dear friends, that even the smallest act of kindness can have a ripple effect, transforming lives and entire communities. Let the story of Leo remind us that the true treasure in life is the goodness we share with others.